He expressed warnings to others of a force so menacing and unbeatable, it could only be described as supernatural. He called them ghosts. What's up, people? Uh, Mike here. And this is Cold Dude Ghosts, uh, Veteran Difficulty and Intel Guide. Uh, this is Mission 12 into the Deep. And uh, I cut out a, a little bit of the beginning of this mission just because you're swimming around. And it, 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 it just takes forever before you finally get to the actual... Uh, not combat, but like actually doing something. Uh, the thing because with the with the underwater and the way the gun, um, you need to put a lot more bullets into the enemies before they die, just because of you know the the mechanics of a gun working underwater. It's not as effective as when you're on land and whatnot. So. Uh, the normal where it'd be like two, like two or three shots to a guy. It probably takes like six shots to to kill an enemy. Uh, the the main annoyance of that is that, as far as I know, you can't pick up ammo from the enemies when you kill them. Um, if you can, I could never. I I was never able to pick it up. You can't even pick up their gun, apparently. Um, if you can, you know it. It. I just never got the indicator to uh, pick up this weapon or anything like that. Um, so. I mean, you start out with like 350 bullets or something along that nature, but the amount of guys that you encounter, especially towards like the middle point, um, there was one. There was one point where I ended up dying and I had to restart. It was actually this part, um, or no, not this part. It's uh, the later part. Where I actually ran out of ammo and I still had like two enemies left, so I had to do the 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 challenging part of approaching them without getting shot and initiating the the knife sequence where they go to stab you with their knife, but you have to um, basically hit whatever you have as your melee button, either the the thumbstick or the B button, to block their knife and then drive your own knife into the chest uh, it was literally the only way I was able to get through that but I ended up dying in the very next part with uh, with the explosive canisters and it put me all the way back um, at that previous checkpoint since I I ended up dying I guess like like five seconds before I would have gotten I would have gotten the checkpoint so I had to unnecessarily redo that whole part for no reason. So just be, just kind of be aware of your ammo. Um, there, this is the only mission where ammo management actually really comes into play. Since you, as far as I can tell, you can't pick up any of their weapons. You know, if you can, I never got the the indicator for it, so. And that was me just fucking around trying to see if I could shoot the fish. Um, don't shoot the sharks, because they will kill you instantly. I found out the first time I played through, I'm like, hmm, I wonder if I can kill a shark, and I put like one bullet into it, and it immediately swam up on me and just bit right into my face so definitely don't want to challenge a shark in this and um, the believe coming up is the level yeah I think coming uh, the level specific achievement here is uh, to 
I believe it's destroy the sub on the first on your first try I believe is the description which there's really no challenge um, because the the target that you need to hit on the ship is like the broad side of a barn a barn like if you can't hit that then um, you're pretty you're probably you know a terrible player uh, it, it's almost to the point where you don't even need to move the direction that the the missile is going you can almost you can almost practically just not have to touch the thumbstick and it will sail right for it so like I sup I you know, if you somehow do miss this, I'm assuming that it will just like fail you and restart you at the checkpoint. Um, since your teammate says like we only have one shot at this, so I, I would assume that it probably just automatically fails the mission and puts you back at your previous checkpoint. But I I've never failed it, so I can't really um, say what the penalty is for missing. I almost want to miss just to see what happens. Uh, you want to mash the hell out of the right trigger because on my first time through on veteran at this point, I apparently wasn't hitting right trigger enough or fast enough because I ended up dying here, which kind of surprised me because I didn't think you it it actually would kill you. So. When it got to that point, I was just, I, I literally just held my control up and I just had my entire palm on the right trigger and I was just mashing away at it. So I didn't have to worry about dying. Um, I believe you can die here if you um, get hit by some of this debris. Uh, I never really got I have like a head-on collision with any debris so I can't really verify um, so this is a section that you know I ended up running out of ammo towards uh, this particular section um, this is comprised of two different takes uh, the way I'm doing this section like this is the way I always do this section I just use this ship as my cover um, Mainly because eventually I get swarmed by like three or four of these enemies. Um, I don't know if it's because of where I am that they just come for me. Or if these guys just automatically will start to swarm you. But the guys that do come swarming, like you need to be very quick on your trigger. Uh, because they... they they must be like Aquaman because they can just swim like zigzags around you like they they move so damn quick it, it's weird um, those guys have killed me so many times just because of how quick they can swim towards you um, it it it's pretty annoying at points um, but uh, the main reason that this is comprised of like two different takes is because the intel's right there and I could have just used the take away the entire take of me not dying and just kind of showing where the intel was but I just figured you know because what I do is exactly the same every time for that section that it was just easier to actually show the take where I picked up the intel and then just cut to the take where I didn't die which is now so <coughs> you do want to be careful because when you move up uh, that little that little ship uh, comes through and it drops off I think like two or four enemies I can't remember but you you want to move very cautiously through this part just hugging all these rock formations um, like if you think all the enemies are dead 
just be cautious because you know you could turn the corner and there could be like a guy hiding but um when these two guys drop in those are usually the last two guys um and uh pretty m i believe that this those are like the last guys you need to fight um Uh, I'm not sure if those guys are always there. Um, I don't remember those guys being there before, but I could be wrong. And um, they're always there, but I I didn't end up dying there, so I, I can't verify if that was just the game kind of trying to fuck with me and threw in an extra set of enemies, or if. Uh, the previous times when I've gone through here, they they didn't stay back like they were. Uh, I'm not sure. So, outside of that, that's that's pretty much the last bit of combat in this uh, in this mission. Uh, the last bit is uh, we need to avoid sharks. Uh, which isn't too challenging um, so I'll just let the the last bit of this mission play out as it does and I will see you in uh, mission 13 peace <laughs>